Hilton Chester. Number four, Kareem Kizzi. Number five, Marvin Dannett. Number six, Rayon Branford. Number seven, Roy D. Branford. Number nine, Adremi Simon. Number 10, Jamar Shasana. Number 11, Jason DeSantos. Number 13, Andrew Stewart. Number 14, Robert Fina France. Coach, Robert Fernandes. And on the Barbados side, number one, Andre Boyce. Number two, Akeem Rudder. Number three, Bar Barry Clark. Number four, Jerome Harewood. Number five, Neil Franklin. Number six, Dave Cox. Number seven, Aaron Ford. Number eight, Che Warner. Number 10, LaRondo Davis. Number 13, Jamar Small. Number 18, Keenan Knight. Number 19, Javier Wharton. And the coach, Dominic Hill. Our umpires for this game, Donnie Gobin Singh of Trinidad and Alex Miles from Canada. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand for the National Anthem of Guyana. Now the anthem for Barbados. Starting team for Guyana, Medroy Scotland, Hilton Chester, Marvin Dannett, Adoramy Simon, Jamar Josana, and France. For Barbados, Andre Boyce, Akeem Rudder, Neil Franklin, Dave Cox, Che Warner, and Rondo Davis. Good luck.
Indiana. Uh, we will be coached by Mr. Robert Fernandes, uh, who is also uh, one of the physical education teachers here in Guyana. Uh, he works out of St. Stanislaus. Uh, so the Guyana team would be made up of uh, goalkeeper Medroy Scotland, uh, as well as Anthony Cole. Who, who do you think will be the starting goalkeeper? Uh, right. for the Guyana team. It sounds like they're going with Medroy Scotland. Uh, Alright, uh, so Scotland will be out on the field yes. and... Uh, Cole, is, Cole is the more experienced of the two goalkeepers, but uh, Scotland has been coming along quite nicely, so it looks like Coach Robert has decided to give Scotland a try today. Alright, so um, this, this is the first match for the Guyana team? Yes, this is the first match, opening match for the Guyana men. Alright. And uh, first also for the Barbados men. Okay, so the game is about to start it's just off and uh so this will be 20 minutes in the first half and the Guyana team will be getting the ball first and they will try to ensure that they hit the proceedings so we have we have Danet and simon at the back for Guyana. and we have uh Asano, right. uh chester and france up front for Barbados, we have uh, Lerando Davis, who is number 10, who is one of their uh, hockey stalwarts uh, at the back. And, uh, and then Dave Cox in possession right now, high up in the Barbados left, who has been a, a, a long-time player for Barbados. He's had a bit of a sabbatical, but he's back. Barbados with two early shots in the net. Third shot, all three saved by Scotland, who's had a fine uh, spell there. Uh, stopping three strikes from Barbados. And, uh, and now it seems like it's going to be a penalty corner for Barbados, uh, giving Med uh, Medroy Scotland yet another test to see what he can produce. In that sequence of uh, activity there, there were three shots, and Scotland got his body in the way all, all three times. So it looks like uh, Coach Robbie uh, did do a little bit of work, even though he is, uh, as you are saying, the number two goalie. Even though he's wearing the number one, uh, he's doing a pretty good job out there. Yes. So this is going. This is a traditional sort of setup now for the short yes, corner. Yes, this is a typical setup. Yeah, we have here Akeem Rudder as a direct strike. Ball was a little bit wide. Davis did well to stop it, nevertheless. Attack now by Guyana to Simon. Uh, put the ball just a little bit behind Chester. We couldn't uh, stop in time. And now Guyana have Barbados under some pressure. Neil Franklin in possession. This possessed by Jamar Jasano. Guyana gets a long corner. Now Chester was was out. Uh, he was he was out and gone. Uh, he was going so fast that the, uh, the, ball, the ball was passed a little behind him and he couldn't stop to turn around and get it. But uh, luckily they were able to get the ball back. And uh, this will be another yes, another long corner for Guyana. Oh no, it's just a free hit outside the D. All right, so they get a free pass. So Barbados on a counter attack now. And Scotland oh. comes out, makes a clean tackle. And Guyana may come to attack through Dunnett. Into the Barbados stick. And Guyana gets a free hit just inside their own half. Looks like uh, there's a it pause looks in the action for goalkeeper Scotland to fix his gear. Scotland got into a little bit of a, uh, some contact there with the player from Barbados and he lost his helmet in the process. So he's just asking for some assistance to get his helmet back on. Uh, the game has start, restarted, now 17 minutes remaining in this half. So just three minutes have gone by. Uh, no no uh, team has scored as yet. As the Guyana team is uh, probing now. That was a pass directly into the defender, the Barbados defender, who just happily collected the ball and went up the Guyana side of the field. Now, there was a turnover, so Guyana gets the ball immediately back. Marvin Darnett, who recently uh, uh, returned to Guyana from England as a selectee of this uh, team. So Darnett right now uh, plays his, his hockey in, 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 in England. All right. And he's the... The lone overseas base player on the Ghana side. That's Marvin Dunnett. That's correct. All right. 
And this this player here, number nine, Simon. Yes. Uh, what team? What club Simon does he? Is, Simon is from Old Fort. He's uh, he's one of their lead players. Very talented uh, a player. One would suspect that uh, once you're you're going to be on the Guyana team, you should be one of the talented players. Correct. Uh, so uh, I'm interested. Uh, number three. Uh, this looks like one of the probably one of the shorter players in the tournament. Yes, yes. Uh, young he's Chester is also one of the youngest players we have. All right. On the Guyana selection, and he comes out of the uh, a very fairly new club in Saints. He comes from St. Stanislaus College, and they have started the club of Saints Hockey Club. All right. Uh, where Chester uh, is from. As, as we see, Barbados win a, a penalty corner through Akeem Rudder with some good stick skills. All right, so Guyana is going to have to defend once again. Yeah, uh, we'll and to see what, what uh, options Barbados go with. So I suspect they'll probably go with the direct flick from Rudder. It does go to him and it looks like he shot corner. he shot wide no it did come off of a yes. defender maybe it came off of the goalkeeper who is charging at him it's edged off of someone and barbara is set up for the long corner yeah here's neil franklin in possession with content to just play with the ball behind oh now that seemed a bit uh dangerous one of our one of the staff for the um indoor pan-american cup uh, was just almost uh, hit by a ball that went off of the stick of the Guyanese player. So, was Barbados ball. Guyana picks up the ball. And wonderful play there. Excellent play. Uh, France was a scorer. But you can see that it was, it was more than just France in that play. Excellent counter-attack by Jamar Jassano. Getting around his, his opponent on the baseline and feeding France for the open goal. Takes Guyana to a 1 0 lead with just inside of uh, 14 minutes left on the clock. Davis and Chia Warner. Back for Barbados. Wow, that was a really good pass there, straight into the into the uh, circle. But the goalkeeper, once again, Scotland, doing a heck of a job, keeping yes. the ball out of the Guyana goal. Barbados striker Andrew Ford got clear of his marker that time, receiving a long pass into the D. And uh, Scotland uh, prevented him from scoring, but then gave up the foul at the end. So Barbados gets another penalty corner. Interesting to see if Guyana can stop this one as well. This looks like a one for Warner and, and it's a off of the defender. Off of a guy defender, they immediately press. Chases the ball down, wins possession, passes it to Roydy Branford. And Guyana's shot from Jason DeSantis is stopped by Barbados. Barbados now on a counter attack with good speed. The ball is back up to McKenzie. McKenzie accelerates, goes around the right, turns it in. Played by Barbados Boyce into the game. Uh, Seemed like a foil opportunity there by Guyana. Jason De Santos there could have gotten a, a really nice setup for a shot just on the edge of the, cir the half circle. Barbados finding some nice long passes out there to Adrian Ford. Here we have Andrew Stewart and Rayon Branford at the back for Guyana. One. Guyana, completely different five on the floor now. Controlling the ball in their defense. Now, compared to the female matches we saw earlier, and the match that we, we just saw, uh, this one is a, a bit faster. Yeah, it seems uh, so. Right now, the moment, the game is quite fast-paced. And there is almost a steal there from the Barbados defender. Tries a long shot, goes wide. So it will be Branford. Good attempt by Branford. Those are the Branford brothers, younger brothers, trying for the connection. But falling just short of making contact.
All right, it looks like the kills by Warner. Warner is one of the better offensive players in on the Barbados team. Very, very good uh, stick work by Warner. And then the Guyanese uh, forwards ended up committing the foul. Yeah, so Warner, Warner has the ball in possession again. Warner did get himself in, involved in a, in a triple defensive um, play there. Three defenders on him, and he seemed to did not, not want to give up the ball. Yeah. Diana free hit on the circle coming out. Free hit taken by Branford. Uh, he's bringing the ball up a little bit. Ford gets the ball back from uh, from the Guyana team and passes it back. So the Barbados team now is setting up. Uh, they've gotten quite a few good passes in. Uh, earlier, but this one's picked up. From Barbados now and, and the guy is. Oh! Uh, his, his shot is a bit weak. And we had Stuart there uh, running straight into the Barbados goalkeeper, unable to get the ball over the goalkeeper into the goal. And so the Barbados goalkeeper was able to stop. Uh, so the Barbados goalkeeper in, in um, the, on the field right now Boys. is Boyce. The yeah. indoor circle is much smaller than the outdoor. Uh -huh. And therefore, you would expect a. Quite often, goalkeepers have to then advance off their line to, to stop players from, from shooting. Yeah. Um, there are a lot more shots coming at you because the court is smaller. So, so and, and of course, the ball uh, is, is uh, flicked in the air quite often. It's a lighter ball. So, you know, t t go indoor t goalkeepers tend to have uh, work on their reflexes a tremendous lot. Um, that is, of course, needed as well in the outdoor game. But an indoor yeah. game is... Uh, you know, it's even it's more pronounced. Even more, yeah, exactly. All right. So uh, he has had to work a little bit so far. Uh, he's done a good job in keeping the, the goal um, clear. Although Guyana was able to get one goal uh, early in the game. Uh, we're down to eight minutes almost in this remaining in this half. This is the first half of the match. Uh, Guyana dispossesses Barbados and uh, they're advancing. The referee calls an early infraction, so it will be outside of the half circle. They'll get a free pass. Oh, oh no, it's the errant back pass by Guyana. Danny tried to save the long corner, but he couldn't. So Barbados gets the ball on the half line. Warning possession over to Franklin. Franklin tries to get past through France, who knocks the ball out of the bounds. So this, this player, Robert France, uh, he is the captain for the Guyana side? Yes, France, is, I believe, is the captain. So let's chat a little bit about positions. You have two players now at the back who seem content to just pass the ball amongst themselves. Uh, yes. what, what would it be the names of the positions at the back there? Well, a typical, uh, one, of, one of the main structures, and there are more than, there's more than one uh, structure people, teams use, there's several, but one of the very common ones is a typical uh, having two at the back. And they have a scooping shot. With a fantastic finish. From the there. captain. There's a tuck up the right, slip to the left, and France finished with a high shot over Boyce into the net. All right, so uh, you'd have two at the back. Yeah, we'd have a left and a right back, and then we'd have a center, and then put the left and a right forward. Forward. All right, so yeah. five players uh, in the field, and of course, and the sixth then, player uh, would the be goalkeeper. the goalkeeper. Yeah. Yes. But All the, right. But that structure changes frequently during play, because teams need to, of course, uh, 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 present different problems for the opposition to, to, to face. So sometimes the structure would change. But that was, that's, a, that's a quite common uh, setup for teams to use. For hockey, yeah. all right. So a little bit of a space, and he runs straight to it. I uh, see. You see, have yes, uh, been tripped there. Yep. Is, was that inside? It was just outside just of outside, the circle. Yes, he gets a free hit. Oh! Simon finds France on the far post. France with a flick. Keeper saves. Simon France did still in possession. Simon seems to have done a pretty good trick shot there, yes, fooling the defenders. Being called by seems to be Barbados. All right, so um, the Guyana team, uh, 
they at some points in the first half here so far they've swapped out all five players uh, is that something that uh, a coach would normally bank on maybe he has a first unit and a second unit they were accustomed to playing with each other it's quite possible uh, it's it comes down to a preference it's a coaching thing uh, some coaches like to make uh, complete changes some like to leave people on the floor who have had a little bit of exposure to the game rather than, uh, you know rather than introducing a fresh uh, set of legs all together at once but uh, it just comes down to different teams doing different things I'd rather suspect his, uh, his fives, if he swaps, swaps them evenly, uh, may not necessarily be the strongest five or the weakest five. He may have, ba have a balanced oh, all right, team all right. coming on together, which means he can keep consistency throughout. Okay, so the timeout is up. The players are making their way back onto the field. And as we see now, the, all five have changed again. Uh, as we see, uh, uh, France and his crew is, uh, are off. And we see the young legs now of number seven, Roydy Bradford, who is one of the, the really emerging talents of Guyana hockey at the moment. Uh, Bradford was, was a star of our junior team that went to uh, Canada for the outdoor uh, not too long ago. And then we have... Uh, oh, what a very good cross there by Barbados. No one was there to, to scoop it in. Yes, Barbados challenging the scoring circle at the moment. Dave Cox almost getting a scoring opportunity there. But Rayon Branford making a brilliant defensive effort to save that shot. Seems to have lost his stick in the process as well. So Branford and McKenzie now at the back. While Barbados has pushed Chief Che Warner forward again. And, and kept uh, Neil Franklin and Lorando Davis at the back. They have the veteran Dave Cox in the middle. All right, a wonderful move there, but the, the Guyanese seem to swarm him whenever he gets the ball. Uh, this is uh, Coach Che Warner. Uh, he, he seems to be pretty good with the, with the ball, uh, dribbling-wise. Yes, Warner is very, very good. And the, the Guyanese know this, so they, they swarm him whenever he gets the ball. So good defensive tactics there by the Guyanese. Uh, uh, a little bit of kudos there to the coach seems to be um, doing individual tactics uh, in terms of defense with the Barbados team. Uh, now Guyana, Guyana has the ball uh, there. Andrew Stewart coming away over to Roydy Branford who drives up the right side. But Neil Franklin gets the better of him. All right, so it looks like Branford there used his foot a bit. And the ball is, is now given to the Barbados team. Now the Guyana team advancing with the ball. Uh, this looks like a, a pretty good uh, possession. Oh, dispossessed there by Barbados. So uh, the Barbados team now trying to get a foothold in this match. They're down by two goals. Guyana has two goals, Barbados zero. Uh, Guyana attacks again and the shot is defended very well there by the captain, uh, Andre Boyce. Barbados now uh, in the backcourt, uh, making some passes, trying to... You see Guyana on a full press. Oh. The ball had just gone off of the baseline before he made the pass, the cross on. So it will be uh, the Guyana, Guyana ball. Uh, I've noticed that Barbados has some pretty good uh, long passes. Uh, this is about the third time they've had a very good opportunity based on a, an excellent pinpoint uh, long pass. Uh, so the Guyana team may, may want to go into the half and think about that, how they are to defend uh, that sort of attack. So Guyana wins possession, Rayon Branford to bring the ball out. Uh, that's Kareem McKenzie on his left. They seem, they seem content, the Barbados is not pressing, so... Oh, some good skill there by the Guyanese Branford.
Putting a little bit of pressure on the Barbados defense there. And, uh, Barbados have received the free hit. Here comes Davis making an attempt up the left. Back pedals. And Warner receives it in the center. Tries to go through Andrew Short. Off the foot of the Barbados player, so it will be Guyana Ball. Guyana now playing with three back. As we enter the last minute of the first half, the Guyanese are looking to make a, an attack now. The ball goes off, off of the defense of Barbados. The stick of Che Warner. Looks like there's just time maybe for one more attack by Guyana, maybe. And if Barbados gets it, they that was have a quick, a That was a quick start, but yeah. the referee and wants it to start again. Ball into the circle with four traveling three, three uh, yards. And therefore, Barbados just gets the free hit. Uh, less than 30 seconds. Mm. Remaining on the clock for the first half. And Barbados, Dave Cox has the ball in possession. And uh, it's the tackle by Andrew Short was judged to be a deliberate foul, giving Barbados a penalty corner at the halfway mark to try to take a, a, a goal back and narrow that margin of 2-0 that Guyana currently enjoys. The, the time on the clock has expired, so this will be the very last play of the first half. Some of the Guyanese are putting on their um, protective gear, headgear. So what do you think about this, this play? Will, will it be Rudder to take it? Interesting to see. I think it might be slipped to Cox. He looks ready. So we'll see what they decide to do here. And you're right. Cox fires it wide of the net. They did do a pass and then slip it, slip it back to Cox. Uh, but he was off target. So that would be the end of the first half. Guyana is ahead 2-0 to zero in, in this match against Barbados. Uh, was this uh, something you expected? I think that uh, Guyana is uh, ranked above uh, uh, Barbados in the Pan Am because Barbados is currently unranked, having not played very many uh, indoor tournaments. And um, Guyana is ranked third at the moment in the Pan American Federation. And therefore, um, and therefore uh, one would expect Guyana to have the edge over Barbados, but clearly the teams are competitive with each other. So, so it's, it's still anybody's game. You know, in Inno Rocky, two goals is not a comfortable margin as yet. So right. the game is still wide open, and we're we'll interested to see in the second half what Barbados can do to, uh, to come to wrap this, this uh, Guyana challenge. Uh, but I did see quite a few good plays uh, by the Barbados men, uh, particularly earlier on. They, had, um, they have good vision of the field, and they make some good passes, especially straight ahead. Uh, the Guyana team, they seem to sort of build up their attack. Uh, so maybe they have uh, different sort of strategies in attack and so far it's paying off for the Guyana team. They have scored two. Uh, the two goal scorers were... Oh, the, 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 for, uh, goal scorers for Guyana was uh, Robert France. All right. Uh, he, scored, uh, he scored one of them. Uh, and the, I think the other one was... Um, was uh, yeah, maybe Chester, I think, might have been the other Hilton, one. Hilton Chester. Yeah. All right, so we'll verify this, and uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes uh, to yeah. restart commentary on the second, second half. half.
and uh, we have laid it down on top of the traditional wooden floor, and it certainly has presented a much better surface for indoor hockey, which had some challenges in the past. Yeah, it, it could be very dangerous if the ball isn't being um, yeah. passed on a flat surface. Exactly. All right. Exactly. All right, no so we're able to play now play tournaments at this kind of level where international the level floor doesn't come in as a factor in the performance of the teams. All right, in a, so in a negative way. You know? All right, so kudos on the federation for getting that sorted. Uh, now the Barbados team is attacking to start off the second half. Ball goes off. Barbados oh. enjoying a pretty good spell here on the opening minute of the second half, attacking the Guyanese circle. They are clearing the ball to safety. That's the young uh, player we were speaking about uh, earlier, uh, Chester. Yes. Clearing the ball. Coming out of the um, school uh, program that the Hockey uh, Federation is doing in St. Stanislaus. And we did mention that the coach also works with that school, the coach of this uh, men's national team. Robert Fernandes. All right, so Barbados, uh, it looks like Barbados has had the ball for the entire second half so far. Uh, Guyana now immediately uh, steals the ball as there's a counter attack, a three on one, and the pass uh, goes behind. You can see the speed of Osana. Ran there, comes to attack, but then uh, Marvin Dunnett just sent his pass wide of Robert Fernandes. Yeah, captured Robert France uh, uh, slightly ahead of the ball there. And it was a beautiful uh, counter attack. Three on one. The goalkeepers come off of the line for a bit. Uh, Barbados sh should just be able Maybe to take a shot. Oh, he's foiled by Rolando Davis. He takes it in again. Oh. Into the circle for a penalty corner for Barbados. All right, so there was a bit of time there, about a 10-second period where the goalkeeper was completely out of the goal. Uh, Barbados should have capitalized on that, uh, on that possession there, maybe taken a quick shot, and they would have been able to have uh, an empty goal to, to shoot at. Uh, the goalkeeper seems to have some issue with his, um, with his gear, his protective gear. Maybe that was what caused him to be out of goal for such a long period during play just now. Uh, so the Barbados team is setting up uh, their short corner. Uh, we have some of the usual suspects standing up there. Uh, we have Rudder. It m maybe Rudder will be uh, the one to take the shot. What do you think? Yeah, it's be interesting when we see how Barbados lines up. We might have a, a better idea. We have uh, Davis on the stop at Rudder, and then Cox on the left. I rather suspect Rudder will probably get this one uh, himself. We will have a look. Oh, it goes to Cox. And Cox misses for the second time in a row. Yes, the first time he missed the same way, just um, to the left of the goalpost. So Diana has the ball again in possession. Uh, There's a counter attack by Barbados. The goalkeeper came out. Takes it around the goalkeeper, but he misses the goal. I think Barbados may be, may be giving away a few too many chances. In that case, Rudder tried to dribble the goalkeeper and then go around him, but he uh, only got the side of the goal. And here we have France trying to shut the net from the narrowest of angles. Coming up empty handed. Rondo Davis for Barbados on the ball. Here comes uh, Adoremi Simon to come to attack. Ball over to France. Goalkeeper buys out. Does a good job to smother France. France looking for space. Oh! Finds Chester on the, the penalty spot. He slams the shot into the open net. The, the captain France was on the, the baseline there for quite a while. And he was just looking over his shoulder to see the open uh, player. A wonderful pass. Cross straight, straight in front of the goal. And it was. An easy goal, that one. Yes, I think it was, it was a good goal by Guyana, but I think Barbados were disappointed in themselves. 
for allowing the one player in the D to, to receive the ball is, with, with enough space to put it in the net. Who scored that? So Barbados with a freight. Diana backing off into their own half. One on the ball. Davis, small on the right. Davis tries to send it through the middle. Diana lifts the ball. Barbados gets a free hit. All right, so the goal was just scored by Chester, the young player from uh, Saints. And uh, the Guyana team is now up 3-0. to zero. Marvelous attacks across. Oh, and that was an excellent uh, goal by Warner. I think the Guyana goal people be disappointed there because the goal, the ball, the shot came from the narrowest of angles but slipped through between the goalkeeper and the post and managed to bring Barbados back up one. So the score nine now lies at three goals for Guyana, one for Barbados, with yeah. 15 minutes remaining in the match. The Barbados player just now was able to sneak it between the goalie and the post. Who was that player? I think, I think Guyana seems a bit, uh, Guyana seems a bit impatient at the moment. The pass is being intercepted. Here comes Jason Santos. Showing a bit of skill, looking for an opportunity to shoot. Passes the ball across and loses possession. Barbados ball coming out. The, the goalkeeper there for Barbados was able to stop the pass from going across. And yes. so the Barbados team uh, will recollect themselves and restart the match. So the, the goal scorer just now uh, for Barbados was Warner, Shea Warner. Who did a wonderful job to get a, a the ball to sneak in from a tight angle. He will now start the play for Barbados. And uh, a defensive play there by the Guyanese. So the Barbados team gets to restart. Pass in. Could not get to the player. And so it will be Guyana ball. Barbados player using his body to come forward. Bulldoze the Guyanese defender, which is not allowed in indoor hockey. So that uh, gets the free hit. Now in outdoor ball hockey, ball. you're not allowed to back it, back the players. Indoor hockey, it seems as though you're you're allowed to back the players somewhat. Yeah, well, the rule the rule has changed a lot in the, in the, over the years, Nicholas. So uh, long ago, the, the rule said that you couldn't back the players at all. But now in both the versions of the game, it's allowed. Oh. Uh, we had a wonderful opportunity there. Uh, number 13, Andrew Stroot, able to dribble the goalkeeper. And what infringement was this call there? Would, it, yeah, would that be a penalty stroke? Oh. Yeah, because so, it's a deliberate foul in the circle. So the goalkeeper, Matt Ryan Scotland, came out. And uh, the, the player was able to get beyond him with the ball, but he was, there was some body contact, resulting in a penalty stroke for Barbados. So now it's a one on one matchup between Che Warner and Medway Scotland and to see if Warner can pull that Barbados back within one. The score is now 3-1. Penalty about to be taken. The Guyanese goalkeeper seems a bit uh, anxious to get this over it. Ah, uh, the scores. So, one of the more experienced players from the Barbados team. Uh, he now has both of the Barbados goals. Uh, that's Che Warner. So Che Warner clawing his way uh, back, uh, trying to bring his team back into this game. Uh, the score line is now three Guyana, two Barbados.
if anyone is interested, uh, we'll be having matches uh, into the evening tonight. So if you're interested in coming back to watch some men uh, hockey here at the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall, you're very welcome to come enjoy some games. Uh, we have playing right now the Guyana team, the Guyana national men's team against the Barbados team. Guyana is now advancing. Uh, there's a cross. Barbados and raises the ball, lifts, lifts the ball in the circle, and therefore there's a penalty corner to Guyana. The Guyana team is discussing uh, the strategy. I rather suspect that young number seven, Branford, may have a go at it directly himself. And the, um, the captain of the Guyana team is going to be taking this one. Barbados team are protecting themselves and getting ready. Uh, they don't seem to be quite ready, so the umpire is holding the, holding the beginning of the play. Bradford's shot the same by goalkeeper Boyce. The goalkeeper came out there quite nicely to smother any uh, of scoring. The ball goes wide, and so it will be Barbados' ball. Uh, Barbados team now playing quite back. The, the only two players are on the attacking side, so Guyana seems to be pressing uh, and defending quite well. There, it's, we're just about halfway into the second half. Barbados gets the free, gets out of some trouble. Jonathan Stewart to the back for Guyana. Barbados have a wall of blue in front of them. Stewart's pass beats that wall. And there Granford gets the ball on the right. Tries to find his teammate in the circle, France. France from a narrow angle, blocked by Boyce. Diana gets the long corner. Done it on the ball. As short as left. Short sends it up to Asana, who's in the scoring circle, but in a narrow angle. Asana tries to lay it out to his teammates. Branford has it. Good bit of skill by Branford and a beautiful pass. But unfortunately, France was not ready for that. So, a few uh, good attacks from the Guyana team. They weren't able to get the result. Uh, Counter-attack, and uh, the Guyana team uh, gets the ball. Wonderful pass there. Branford into France. France gets his team. Uh, So the Guyana team now uh, attacking quite well, defending quite pressingly, pressing the, the Barbados team quite a lot now. Branford Brothers in the back. Here's Andrew Short in the center. He misses the, misses the reception. Oh! oh. A, a mistake. There by Andrew Short allows Barbados uh, to sneak back in uh, the, uh, Rudder, Aaron Rudder. Even the score with eight minutes remaining on the on the on, on, on the score line. So after Guyana having enjoyed a two love score, they're now at three all. A one call, Colin. Um, we'll <laughs> so it's Warner from Barbados driving up the right side into Dunnett. Dunnett slips and Warner slams the ball into short and is going to be carded as a result. Because if you in, in, in indoor hockey, it's not allowed to, to drill the ball into a teammate if there if, if the opponent who is in, in front of you. Diana makes a quick attack. Asana in the net. Asana in the circle goes to the net, and then there's a wins the penalty corner for Guyana. 
Guyana makes a swift counter-attack there, catches Barbados a little bit off guard and creates a great opportunity for penalty corner. We'll wait to see whether we'll wait to see whether Guyana can produce a bit of magic here. Seven seconds, seven minutes remaining on the clock. And they need a goal to be able to regain the lead of the match. And it's, it's a bump and a slip to uh, Sana on the left. Sends a shot into the roof of the net, giving the Barbados defense a little chance stopping that goal. So Guyana regains the lead. Four uh, goals to three with just seven minutes remaining on the clock. Barbados in possession. Lorando Davis, who seems to have come up to the middle. Guyana has, Guyana has, Guyana has kept this uh, selection on, on the floor for quite some time. We see a bit of a change now. Ball into France. France shot was saved by a, by a field player. And then it seems like Barbados sweeping the ball off the back has conceded another penalty corner. This could be dangerous for Barbados, given that Ghana has been scoring uh, on some of its penalty corner opportunities, including the last one that they received. Looks like uh, Ghana is uh, having enjoying a bit of a streak here. Uh, there was a moment where uh, Barbados was able to score three goals consecutively, brought themselves back into the match. But it looks like the pendulum is swinging the other way. Yes, it seems like uh, Diana has, has the momentum in its favor at the moment. And this, if, if they were to score here, it could certainly uh, boost that momentum. That's a brilliant save by goalkeeper Boyce. Barbados defense has possession. Sends the ball upfield. And Barbados calls a one minute timeout. Five minutes remaining on the clock. Barbados down a goal. We're yet to see if they could produce a bit of magic. Try to pull themselves back even. All right, just around the half time, uh, Philip, we were talking about uh, the ranking of the two teams. Uh, uh, we were expecting Guyana to win this. I thought uh, going into the match, Guyana uh, probably was considered a bit of a favorite. But you know, the two teams have competed a lot in outdoor hockey, and Barbados uh, has the upper hand in that version of the game. So uh, the, 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 the players in Guyana know very well that Barbados is not to be taken for granted. They're a strong hockey nation, and they're clearly showing it out here that they're competitive and they're able to, to, to uh, produce uh, just the same, same quality of hockey or better than most of the nations of Pan Am. So, so this game is not over by a long shot. Barbados is within striking distance, one goal down. And I think that Guyana has their work cut out for them to try to hold off the Barbados uh, attack that's probably going to come in the next five minutes. All right, so uh, they, seem that they seem to have made a few changes as well. Okay, so Barbados has gone right now with uh, Davis and Franklin in the back. They're seasoned uh, defenders. And then they have uh, Warner and Rudder and Cox up front. Only five minutes remaining in this match. And so they would want to ensure that they finish the match on a good push. Uh, good steal there. Yeah, Danet lost possession, but recovered by McKenzie. Danet in possession again. Good bit of speed by Danet. Over to Chester. Chester needed to be a bit patient, but he gave, gave the ball away to Barbados. McKenzie reaching in, giving away a penalty corner to Barbados. And it looks like he's going to get a caution, a green card. So he's off the floor. So Diana up by one. Barbados with a penalty corner and up an extra player on the field. Uh, we just saw some very good dribbling there uh, from uh, Rudder, the goal, the goal scorer from Barbados. Yes. So, yes, they do have, as you were mentioning, they do have quite a bit of skill, Yes. Uh, these Bayesian players. Rudder has been quite good for Barbados. He's produced some good moments, as has Warner, who's about to eject the ball. It'll be interesting to see what they, what they do here. 
because both Rudder and Franklin, number two and number five, possess powerful shots. And either could be a threat. They, they go to Rudder. Med right, Scotland. Very good save. But there goes Rudder again. Scotland is once again in the way. I mean, I mean Guyana on a quick come to top with Jamal Jassana. Oh. He sends the ball across. Swift come to top. Looks like it might have been completed by Robert, Captain Robert France as Jamal Jassana sends his cross from the left over the, the, the face of the goal for France, the sprinting France to finish. Guyana is up by two, four minutes on the clock. Makes it a bit difficult for Barbados, but it's not over. Barbados still is producing quality hockey and uh, they're still within contention of a game winner. Now there's a quick counter attack by Jamar Jasana, who now retreats to cover Barbados. Asana there was unable to make the pass to uh, speaking on this player on the left side. Number four, McKenzie. There goes Rudder again, showing him good skills. Scotland clears the ball into the foot of Captain Robert France. And it's a penalty corner for Barbados. So that, in that case there, the goalkeeper was trying to clear the ball and uh, inadvertently hit it onto the foot of the captain, Robert France. Yes. As long as it's an, it's an illegal play and it's illegal to, to play the ball with your foot, whether it's accidental or not, then it's going to be a foul against you. So it's, a, it's an unintentional foul in the circle which results in a penalty corner. And so Barbados now uh, another opportunity to make a goal against the Canada team. back on the conventional side of the corner is Franklin who sends his shot into the net. Bringing the game to 5-4. Barbados making sure they stay in contention. Two and a half minutes on the clock. The game still hangs in the balance. Let's see what these teams can produce. So I think the on the Barbados end, we've had two goals from Warner, uh, one from Rudder, and recently this one from Franklin. So those are the four goal scorers for Barbados, and those are the usual suspects. Yes, exactly. In terms of the goal scorer. Uh, bad pass here, oh, picked up very well. Asana, but then he loses the handle. Here's Asana again. France is breaking. Asana goes into the circle, and Boyce advances. Asana misses the net. But it was airborne. That ball was. Asana intercepts him. He's coming again. Passes to France. France across him. France across him. Diving Banford. But this, he was on the floor before playing the ball, which is illegal in indoor hockey. And here comes Cox up the right. Just missing on the far post with a great opportunity for, for uh, Barbados. The ball is up to Asana now. Both teams are still going end to end. Neither of them letting up on their pace. And the ball is now in a long corner for Barbie, for Guyana. So the ball comes out to the half line where Mackenzie is. And he'll control. Ball back to Danet. Danet out to France. Guyana has one minute to hang on to their one goal lead. Barbados needs to get another goal. Ball in by Branford to France. Long corner. Last touch by a Barbados defender. Danny to McKenzie, there goes Banford across the goal to France. A diving France was unable to convert that. Ball now in Barbados' possession. Barbados ball once again. Danny to Nassana, the defenders, close by. Barbados lays the ball over to the left. Franklin sends it in looking for a deflection, but it misses the target. It's half a minute to go. Danet finds France deep in the Barbados circle. Is there time for one more, one more play from Guyana? Barbados receives the ball. There's it out. Steal by France in the circle top. Shot saved by, by Boyce. Point blank shot. Boyce did an excellent job of saving that. Barbados outlets the ball into McKenzie of Guyana. McKenzie gives his pass away. Barbados is scrambling. Seconds to go. They slam the ball into Guyana. And it looks like Guyana might have possession. The last possession to run the clock out. 